So everyone, today's the day I gotta put my exhaust on and put my tip on. And I've been waiting for this for a very long time. But we got all set up our stand, our tip, my exhaust is at work. So once we get there, I'll show you. We'll be back. So we're back now. Um, just remove the inner fender liner so we can finally get to this bolt or this nut and then we can take that off and then from there it's basically we're I'm just gonna hack it off because who cares about the stock pipe I'm just gonna get rid of it anyways but yeah take that off and then we're gonna start hacking and then we'll put it together okay so hacksawed it just got a hacksaw cutting this piece off first and I'm gonna get that one out and then that came out already out of the hanger so now we're gonna make a couple more cuts probably like right here or something but we'll see where we're at with that so far it's been a pain but it's pretty easy not that hard which takes time okay we got the other one out put the new one in it's a pain but literally just cut it right there and i should have just cut it right here so i could slide out the cross member cut it right there put the new one on I'm gonna bolt it back up here. There we go. I got it on. It went on gray, or just kind of was a little bit of a pain, but because there's pipes you got to cut, and unlike my MBRP, it just you the other MBRP you just put on and whatever because it's designed for whatever length you get, but. This one you had to do like cut a little piece on here, like right here in this area. Let's see if I can grab it real quick. Sorry, I was kind of spraying some stuff while I was putting it on, but yeah, it's that piece right here you gotta add. But, um, so you gotta put it right there. It's like, I did like 11 inches because I didn't want to cut too short, but everything else kind of went good. Everything's well, so it's kind of hard to adjust. But I'm having a little bit of worry because I kind of missed the hole and I'm kind of on that the cross member. So I might, when I weld it. Sorry, it's really windy. But I wanted to shoot this video so you can get a gist of what it is. But I basically um, just axle dumped it. Let's go over there. But yeah, just axle dumped it right there to an 8 inch. Looks good clean i put it up a little bit higher so it's not so low to the ground but other than that it looks sounds good which you'll hear in a second you're gonna hear the before and after but yeah hold on real quick
Not that ain't loud. Yeah, holy crap. <laughs> okay, so I had to go shut it off because it's so loud. I was going to try to rev it, but I can't. I live next to the people. They'll get upset. But it is loud. Like, it echoes so much off the ground. The other thing, too, about it is... Um, I was doing, I was driving around, I drove around a lot yesterday just to see how it sound. It's a lot more droney than my MBRP, but also what I was kind of thinking is either because of that piece I was showing you on that cross member, it's kind of like vibrating a little bit, or it's because my bed is not bed lined. And that's kind of what I was thinking this morning. I'm like, maybe I should get my bed, here, I'm going to get it bed lined, but, um, it should like stop this because it's just you know resonating off this because this is where I hear the most is the bed and I can hear into the cab but yeah we we'll hopefully we'll do that soon I'll try to do this week maybe we'll see but, yeah like subscribe you know post try to post a video every week if not I'm gonna yeah it just sucks I wish I had more money in the world than I make videos every day for you guys but yeah thanks for watching and stay tuned